and welcome to our channel. In today's class, we are going to learn about causes of variation of atmospheric temperature. A temperature defines the degree of hotness or coldness of an object or of an environment. So everything has the degree of hotness or coldness. Some objects are very cold, some are very hot or some are warm. So that degree of hotness or coldness is known as its temperature. So in a similar manner, the air around us, the atmosphere, also has a certain degree of hotness and coldness which is referred to as its temperature. So that degree of hotness and coldness of the atmosphere around us is known as its temperature. So temperature is not same everywhere. Temperature varies from place to place. The temperature of one place does not match with the temperature of another place. But why is it happening? What are the causes? So in this class, we are going to learn about the factors that affect the temperature of a place. The very first factor being latitude. So as we move towards the pole, the temperature starts decreasing. And as we move towards the equator, the temperature starts rising. So temperature decreases with the increase in latitude. Suppose this is our earth. This is a tiny earth here. So you can see the shape of the earth. It is curved. It is round in shape. So because of its round shape, the sun rays does not fall equally over all, over the over all parts of the earth. Say this is the sun. Now, the sun rays fall vertically on equator. We consider this line to be equator, the middle line. So, if you see here, these are the poles. Towards the extreme ends, we have two poles, north pole and south pole. So, if you look at the incidence of angle of sun rays, you can see the angle is not same everywhere. Here, near the equator, the sun rays are falling vertically. It, it is the direct rays of the sun. Whereas, if you see towards the poles, the sun rays are not straight. They are not vertical. They are slanting in manner. And if you compare the distance, covered by these two rays, then you can see the rays which is traveling towards the poles. They have to travel longer distance as compared to the rays which is traveling towards the equator here. So the rays which is traveling towards the equator are shorter and they are concentrated to small area and they are direct. So these areas get heated up faster as compared to the area which lies at the pole. So the slanting rays, they cover large area. So compare the area which these two type of rays are covering. So oblique rays or slanting rays are covering large area and also they are covering longer distance. As a result of which these type of rays are not as hot as the vertical rays. So that is why as we go towards the poles, as we move towards the poles, towards 90 degree, the temperature starts falling, the temperature decreases. And as we move towards the equator, the temperature rises. So this is the latitudinal factor which controls the temperature of a place. So the place which lies at the poles, are colder as compared to the place which lies near the equator. Take for example, Chennai is hotter than Kolkata. If you see to the map of India or world map, you can see that Chennai lies closer to equator than Kolkata. Kolkata lies farther from uh, equator. That is why Kolkata's temperature is lower as compared to that of Chennai's temperature. Now next factor which affects the temperature of a place is 
altitude. So altitude refers to the height of a place. So as we go at a higher places, then the temperature of that place becomes lower. So temperature decreases with height. There's an inverse relationship between height of a place and its temperature. The higher the altitude of a place, the lower the temperature is. And lower the altitude, higher the temperature. Higher the altitude, lower is the temperature. And lower the altitude, higher is the temperature. So there is an inverse relationship between height of a place and its temperature. Now take for example, the temperature of Kolkata and Darjeeling are not same. The temperature of Darjeeling is much more cooler than that of Kolkata. And it is because of the fact that Darjeeling lies at high altitude than Kolkata. So there are three causes for increase in uh, for decrease in temperature with increasing height. So those three causes are the very first one is the lower atmosphere, the layer which is present at the lower layer, they are very heavier because they uh, comprise of um, dust particles and water vapor. And this dust particles and water vapor, they absorb more heat. That is why the area which lies at low altitude, they have high temperature. And the second cause is the air which lies at the upper level, they are rarefied, they are thin because of the absence of water vapor and dust particles which absorb heat. So in absence of water vapor and dust particle, the upper layer do not absorb more heat. So that is why they are very thin and rarefied as compared to the air that we find in the lower layers. And the last factor or the last cause is the atmosphere is mostly heated up by the process of conduction and radiation in which the heat is transferred from one layer to another layer. So suppose this is the ground, the air which lies just above the ground, that will be the first one to be heated up. Then after that, the heat is transferred to another layer and to another layer and it continues. So the lowermost layer is the first one to be heated up. So these are the three causes which results in the decreasing uh, temperature with increasing height. So with the increase of every uh, 100 meters, there is a fall of 0 0.6 degrees Celsius. And with the increase of every 1000 meters, the temperature falls at a rate of 6.4 degrees Celsius. And this rate at which the temperature falls with increasing height is known as normal lapse rate. So see, for example, I have drawn a diagram here. So this place indicates a uh, height of 1000 meter and the temperature is 27 degree Celsius. So if the height increases to 2000 meter, then the temperature will become 21.6 degree Celsius. So after again, at the height of 3000 meters, what will be the temperature? So how will you find the temperature of this place? You will subtract 6.4 degrees Celsius from this number. When you subtract 21.6 degrees Celsius, when you subtract 6.4 degrees Celsius from 21.6 degrees Celsius, then you will get 15.2 degrees Celsius. So this 15.2 degrees Celsius will be the temperature of this place. So with the increase of every 1000 meters of height, there will be decrease of 6.4 degree Celsius. And this rate of decreasing temperature with increasing height is known as normal lapse rate. Though the temperature decreases with increasing height, there is an exception to this under some condition. Sometimes the temperature may increase with increasing height. So this situation when the temperature increases with increasing height is known as inversion of temperature. And this inversion of temperature uh, mostly occurs in a sloping valleys. Suppose this is your valley bottom. 
we know that the area which lies at low altitude they already have hot air with them they have high temperature so this valley bottom is likely to have high temperature than the slopes but in case of inversion of temperature the slope tends to radiate back heat faster during clear uh, cloudless long nights what will happen the heat gets radiated faster from the slopes and they also gets cooled down so when the air present in the slope gets cooled down the cold air sinks towards the valley bottom the cold air gets towards the valley bottom they tend to sink and the hot air which is present in the valley bottom they start rising up and occupies the slope so in this case the temperature increases with the increasing height this phenomena is known as inversion of temperature and it happens under three conditions when the nights are long when the sky is clear and when there is stable air so that no mixing at higher level is done so this is known as inversion of temperature the next factor which influences the temperature of a place is distribution of land and water bodies so the place which lies near the sea are likely to have pleasant temperature which is not very hot and not very cold whereas the place which lies far away from the sea are likely to have extreme type of temperature the temperature varies because of the differential rate of heating and cooling which means that the rate at which the land and sea is heated is not equal there is a difference in the rates of heating of land and water bodies land is heated faster as compared to the sea or water body and land is cooled faster whereas the water bodies retain heat for longer time so in the coastal regions during the day time this is the land this is the sea during the day time the land gets heated very fast so this land gets heated very fast and warm air rises up so when the warm air which is present of above the land rises up then there's a vacant space created here so meanwhile the sea or the water body which is just near to that land it is not heated faster so it is getting heated slowly so the air the cool air which is present above the sea it moves towards the land to fill in the vacant space so this cold air which blows from sea to land during day time is known as sea breeze and this sea breeze helps to um, cool the climate or cool the temperature of a place near it and during night so this was during day time so at night what happens is the land gets a cooler faster and the sea is still warm so the warm air from sea rises upwards and once the warm air rises upwards the cold air that is present on the land it moves towards the sea to fill the vacant space on the sea so this phenomena is called land breeze so the breeze that comes from land to sea at night is called land breeze and the breeze that moves from sea to land during day time is called sea breeze so the sea breeze and land breeze helps in moderating the temperature of coastal area this was about coastal area so the place which lies far away from the sea they are not influenced by the moderating influence of the sea 
they don't experience the land breeze and sea breeze so that is why they experience extreme type of climate it's very hot during day and very cold at night for example delhi which is far away from the sea it experiences continental or uh, extreme type of climate during winters it is very cold and during summer it is very hot whereas the coastal regions say for example maharashtra it experiences equable type of climate where the summers are warm not very hot and the winter is also not very cold they have pleasant type of climate The next factor is wind. Wind is the horizontal movement of an air. So when wind moves from one place to another, it tends to influence the temperature of a place over which it moves. If the wind is cold, then the temperature of a place along which it moves tends to fall. And if the warm air or the warm wind moves from one place to another it tends to increase the temperature of a place towards which it blows for example the cold winds that blows from central asia brings the cold wave along with it to the northern china so far we have discussed four factors that affect the temperature of a place those were latitude the altitude distribution of land and water bodies and the winds. In upcoming video, we will discuss about the six more factors that influence temperature of a place.